All right, uh, getting underway here with our uh, ladies. Uh, their third and final race today. Rome Reader with a great start. Amy Roberts is a pulled up alongside as well. So our top two going for it here under the Penny Homes uh, overbridge. And uh, these uh, ladies have got uh, 12 minutes plus a lap here. And the overall's uh, well and truly out for grabs. Amy Roberts, uh, two from two so far today. If Roma can win this one and uh, Amy in second, they'll lock the points up uh, with two races remaining. So uh, we've got excitement to the max here at our uh, Women's Championship uh, pivotal stage uh, in the overall standings as Roma Edwards leads Amy Roberts down the Taupo smash repairs uh, step down. But a good start from Al Patterson uh, there in uh, third place. Taylor Rampton's trying to go up the inside and look... Uh, uh, for a way into that podium fight at the moment. So that's uh, your update there as we've got it uh, all uh, to play for here. Rome Redwoods, Amy Roberts, nothing it as they go around Rapids. It's uh, been uh, two wins at round number one for Roma and one win to Amy. They've come here today and it's two wins for Amy so far. This is a pivotal part of the overall championship. And can we see uh, some fireworks here? It's going to be all on between these two. They've had some wonderful battles uh, throughout the summer. This one shaping up to be no different as well. So Roma on the modal best build Honda leads. Amy on the back with Yamaha Blue Crew Machine. And they are already uh, gap in the field as Taylor Rampton now up into third place. So now she'll be uh, ready to try and carry on her streak of uh, third place finishes. She's had uh, five in a row so far, looking to go six from six on the trips to the podium. Mel Patterson on the Patterson O'Connor Motorcycles uh, Racing Team. She's there in fourth place. We've got a good start for Anna Rogers there, trying to get uh, around uh, Holly. Uh, that's about sixth and seventh place as we see it. Roma and Amy, one goes left, one goes right. The dual lane sections are working beautifully still as the uh, track gets pretty rough and rugged here. Dugan McEwen Motocross Park, home of the Topo Motorcycle Club. And this is uh, the final race, round number three of our Women's Motocross Championship. Roma and Amy, we've had some great little fights uh, all over the country. And uh, this one here is going to shape up beautifully. You can see uh, there's parts of this track where Rome is very strong. There's parts of this track where Amy's really strong. So it's going to be uh, who's uh, going to lay it all on the line. This is the massive uh, championship. We've had uh, the round Rotorua. That was the opening round of their championship. We've had uh, two races so far. So this one really all on. There's Rome and Amy going for it uh, here. The final race of the day for our ladies with Taylor Rampton there. Still in third place, St. Mel Patterson. Now we've got Brenner Rogers in fifth, and uh, we've got Holly there. Uh, that's uh, looking uh, pretty good in about sixth place for Holly. And Ella Burns uh, rounding out uh, our top six as our ladies carry on. Brought to us by Sign On at uh, your home of uh, pure quality in the uh, Taupo area. And uh, great to have uh, the president of the club, uh, Bevan, on board. Uh, not only as a uh, president, he's the riders rep and a super sponsor here as well. So uh, legendary wheelie. And uh, this is our uh, race three of our women's. And uh, something exciting is that uh, Roma and Amy are uh, going to treat us to another uh, absolute uh, battle on our hands. Oh, man, these ladies, this has just been sensational. I'm sure it'll just go all the way, all the way, all the way. One's up, the other one's down, and uh, then vice versa, it goes back the other way. So good. Hey, we went the first four races with uh, uh, two wins and two seconds each, so they were tired after that. Then we got to Amy with the advantage, and now here comes uh, Roma back. So if it finishes like this, it'll be a tie. It'll be a tie with two races ago. What happens if they tie again tomorrow with two races? Remember, of course, they are one round less, so they're going to end up with an even amount of races. So uh, we're going to go to... Uh, it's Gonna, that would come down to an even amount of races, okay? So they will have had, uh, what's that, uh, eight, right? They would have had eight races, all right? So they've had two wins and two seconds each, all right? So that will, will just, it's a scenario we're talking about here, folks. So then it comes down to who's had the most wins? Four, four. Who's had the most seconds? Four, four. So they're still a dead heat. It'll come down to who can beat the other one in the last race of the day. That's the scenario. I love our countback system in New Zealand. It is so good. We've had it the same. It's been one of those rules that's been in the book for probably 30 or 40 years it's never changed and it never should change either because it is a very fair way of recognizing it but that's what we're going to come down to potentially potentially here tomorrow because at the end of the day even at the end of this race it's uh, looking like a point start this will be huge so we'll look forward to finding out tomorrow so you know it's almost one of those ones at the end of it you want to get one trophy and split it in half and give them half each don't you two amazing ladies that have been separated by next to nothing but one's minor little hiccup and the other one's minor little gains and vice versa they've had as much bad luck as good luck as each other, they're super even, they're super nice in our sport. Man, are we going to be in for something here. Look at this, metres apart, metres apart is all it is. And we are going for it here at the moment, so uh, bring it on at this stage. Alright, best build motor, the Honda Racing Star Miss Roma Edwards, out in front of uh, Amy Roberts on that Altherm JCR supported uh, Yamaha. Look at the cool gear, they've got the cool kit, what about that? 
uh, helmet and design and gear from Amy, looking uh, luxurious out there. Superb to see these uh, ladies parading in their uh, world-class apparel at our world-class moto female event. And of course, uh, on the shadow of the first round of the World Women's Motocross Championship, round number two of the uh, MXGP overall. But uh, of course, the uh, first round for the uh, Women's Championship in Sardinia. So uh, that'll be something special, and we'll get more of an update on that one throughout the weekend and give you an idea of where to toast. And of course, uh, uh, that right, potentially that uh, uh, second race, I think, might be on uh, Sunday night our time. It may actually be in a reasonable time because I think the women's racing of it's anything like last year we'll be up early on the program so we might get an idea by the time we have prize giving on sunday night as to how uh, our uh, superwoman has been uh, placed courtney duncan so uh, a lot of interest and well done for that brad the scenario is just amazing to see what's going on out there look at that they go racing 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 what's there two point lengths no i'd call that a one i'd call that a one nothing between them there at the moment how good Oh, unbelievable, and this is Amy Roberts making a statement in this championship. She's now taking the lead and has about 10 bike lengths over Roma, so uh, if she can go and win this one, she'll take a six-point lead into tomorrow, and that'll be quite t telling. So uh, it's all to play for here, as uh, now Amy Roberts, uh, midway through this uh, enthralling women's race, has pulled the trigger, and she's now in charge. Uh, Roma Edwards there in second, and they have absolute massive daylight between them and the rest, so uh, well done to uh, Taylor Rampton, solid there in third place, and that'll be uh, carrying on the streak uh, to six strong trips to the podium for Taylor Rampton on the Action Moto Kawasaki. We've got uh, Brianna Rogers, who's uh, doing a wonderful job in fourth place. It's the first uh, one, two, five, two stroke home, so a uh, shout out to uh, our uh, defending New Zealand junior women's uh, champion. She's out there in the quality top four ahead of Mel Patterson in fifth. We've then got uh, Holly Russell uh, there, sixth place for Holly uh, ahead of Ella Burns, Olivia Singer, and uh, Brianna Roberts with uh, Brooke Daly. Uh, they're running at our top 10 women's uh, runners. I want to do a shout out as well for uh, Team Rogers tomorrow because uh, Brianna's uh, little uh, brother will be up in the YZ65 Cup and I would suggest he will be one of the hot shots. Uh, I'm going to picture him for a second place here tomorrow. So uh, we're going to look out with uh, Team Rogers in action here tomorrow as well. Certainly hope that uh, Brianna will be uh, taking the trip down uh, south, of course, for our Junior Women's Championship. That's now aligned with the actual overall Junior Motocross Championship, which will be in three weeks' time in uh, beautiful and Macargan on a so beautiful in uh, I've uh, never uh Really, I've never officially lived. I have done a bit of work in the South Island. I've been there many times and I love the place. But uh, And I've gone to Invercargill. I've uh, called the pleasure of 16 Burt Munros, uh, probably around uh, 10 or so uh, uh, Teratonga races. Been there for the a bit of motocross uh, uh, back in uh, 2020, actually, when we were in Gore, uh, just up the road, and uh, also that year in uh, Mosgiel as well. Uh, but uh, looking forward to going back there again with the uh, might. In fact, yes, the New Zealand minis we had in... Uh, uh, in Macargill a handful of years ago as well. So when people like uh, Jack Simon was the New Zealand uh, mini champion, Sheldon uh, Brown was New Zealand mini champion, two of them that we well recall on the day. But uh, it's all on for our national junior competition. Never been to Southland before. What a special weekend it's going to be. Three weeks away and we're counting it down and getting excited about that one. And it's uh, people like Brianna that uh, should be a front runner for that uh, junior woman's title. Let's bring it on as part of our motocross. But uh, Brad here at the moment, you've been keeping an eye on them and they're still locked together. Oh, there's absolutely nothing in it. So Amy uh, narrowly over Roma. Roma's a little bit quicker around this uh, energy centre point sort of section. And uh, we'll see if she's got something up the sleeve here because she cannot afford to let Amy win this race. If she does, it's a six point lead heading into the final two races tomorrow. So Roma is desperate to try and break this one here. So uh, that's your front two. Uh, Taylor Rampton there still in quality third place on the Action Moto Kawasaki. Uh, Brianna still there in fourth place. Mel Patterson, uh, Holly Russell, Ella Burns still in sixth uh, and seventh for those two. Olivia Singer ahead of uh, Brianna Roberts uh, and then go back to uh, Brooke Daly. So that's uh, all about 10 runners. Great to have 10 of our uh, top level ladies uh, out there competing. And uh, like you say, it's going to be awesome to see them and uh, also our junior 85 CC women and our junior champs in three weeks' time. So absolutely loving our ladies uh, racing at the moment. A real feature on the program now. And brought to us by uh, Sign On here today is Roma. Shows a wheel into the sawdust here. It's not far away here. We've only got uh, uh, just under three minutes plus a lap left in this race. So are they going to get this one in? And uh, maybe the white flag after that. So uh, 
I would suggest only a handful of laps to go. The pivotal part of the championship, like we talked about, to, can Roma respond? Where's she going to find something special? Amy's a former multiple time New Zealand ladies champion. Uh, Roma, the current uh, a British women's champion and also the current New Zealand women's cup champion. So uh, full of trophies, full of accolades, both these ladies, and they're putting on a show for us here today. As Roma, right on the back wheel of Amy Roberts, this is going to be something special. The final couple of laps about to unfold here. As we've got two minutes left on the clock, that'll expire on this one around. So we've got two laps to go in uh, this one here and half a second between them. Look at that margin, here comes Roma, here comes Roma. Look at that, take looking around on the outside, trying to get through there. Remembering the next corner going down, there's a left-hander, she's on the right-hand side, so it's harder to get through, but if she can hold the line, she can then maybe get the advantage at that uh, to next tight corner. But there it is, the advantage, we can see it on CTAS, going to Amy as she uh, powers the MR through the advantage. Then look at Roma, two completely contrasting lines taken by the ladies as they exit and go up towards Pylon, and then they'll come around the top and come down and towards the uh, team... Uh, Taupo Smash repairs corner before the sensational step up jump, one of the uh, great features of this magnificent Digger McEwen Park. We've got, uh, of course, uh, over the years, some great drama that have been there, but the favourite one of all time was the uh, huge crash of uh, Daryl uh, King up there and a magnificent taken by a, a gentleman called Ewan Crow. And uh, the photo shows, of course, uh, DK at the time on the Kawasaki, completely upside down as he was still on the bike. You would think it was uh, FMX of uh, John Norma's style, but of course it was totally accidental and he then unfortunately went on to crash and crash heavily. But uh, it certainly had some drama at that part of the track over the years and long may it continue because that's what makes this place so special in our sport. Here we go, here we go. Where's Roma going to make a move? She's got to make a move. She's Got to make a commitment surely otherwise she's just going to play follow the leader when she goes she must go inside no she's speeding up to go outside yeah oh look at that and trying to square the corner off oh i don't think that was on the cards for amy that was not the right line for amy to take i don't know where she got that one she went into the corner shallow then went out wide i think it was sorted to put a bit of a block pass in there but she's lost some momentum and roma's got it back roma's on oh amy now for the inside line they go to the corner together oh roma on the outside she's going to use the boom she's going to have more pace through there she should have the advantage as they come towards us at the moment one on the inside, one on the outside, one of our fabulous dual line parts of the circuit. It's Roma for the inside, Roma's back. Remember, of course, what this does to the score is puts them back to level for the weekend, level for the series to date. So here they are, all on at the moment. So this will be six motos, three from Rotorua. They weren't at Belcutha, remember, we didn't have a woman's class there. So we've got uh, three from Rotorua, three from today. And uh, this, but right now, if we get a finish here, it's uh, uh, three wins apiece, three second places apiece. So we're all on for the feature final. Uh, Brad, who's going to hold on can Roma hold it what do you reckon oh this is going to be all on here the white flag is ready and waiting for one of these two ladies Roma narrowly now leads Amy Roberts so look at these front two they have got uh, a massive amount of daylight between them and the rest but uh, Roma now on the modal best build Honda leads Amy with the white flag out one lap to go and if it finishes like this we're going to be tied on points heading into the final round of racing tomorrow so this is going to be electric can uh, Amy respond can Roma hang on we're going to find out in this next lap we've still got Taylor Rampton there in third place and she's uh, doing a, a sterling job there, and then Brianna Rogers sat uh, there in fourth place. We've got Mel Patterson still rounding out our top five. So unchanged top five, but the one that has changed is our uh, battle for the leaders, Roma. Now under immense pressure as Amy tries to find another uh, line around number one. It's uh, so far advantage Roma, but for how long? We're going to see them fly down the hill there. This is electric racing from our ladies in the sign-on uh, supported uh, feature racing on the program. And the MX2, uh, they're looking on uh, in awe. They're coming up next for their... Uh, 20 minutes plus a lap as Amy goes up the inside, they're side by side up the step up, there's nothing in it as Roma versus Amy, this is going to be electric, they're uh, uh, only three points separating these two in the champion, they go dual line, one goes left, one goes right, side by side as they head to Rapids and there's nothing in it and Amy's going to retake it, heading down Rapids, so Amy now retakes the lead with uh, half a lap to go, can she hang on to it, can Roma find something special, was this part of the track last time around that uh, Roma made the lead uh, pass, so uh, we're going to have a look at this one here, Amy and Roma, they're giving it absolutely everything as Roma tries to go up the inside and has a look for the move there, not quite close enough, it's good hard racing from these two and uh, we're going to need uh, all of this uh, remaining half lap, there's lap riders in front of them so uh, this is going to be all on, I can't uh, wait to see this one here, Amy goes inside, misses the inside rut and has to square the corner up, Roma goes back up the inside so we've got oh, the change again that's that what happened last corner. time. so the same mistake from Amy Robinson, now Roma can yeah. she hang on? 
the lead changed to three times in the space of a lap. And uh, we've got uh, the lap riders just in front of them. Are they going to go in the dual lane section? They follow each other through there. Aroma on that modal best build Honda. Amy on the Elf Air Window System. Blue Crew Yamaha. There's not much in it. They nearly touch wheels as they go over Groomage Refrigeration. Aroma's got that inside line. Can she hang on as uh, Amy a little bit more corner speed squares it up and gets into the sawdust together. This is some kind of racing from these two as uh, Roma and Amy have been all on here today. It's been two wins so far from Amy Roberts, but if Roma can win this one here, she won't take the overall, but she will square up the championship. It's uh, going to be an enthralling third of a lap to go as Roma now ahead of Amy. Can we see something special from Amy Roberts? It's advantage at Roma as they go around with a couple of corners to go. It's uh, that sweeping right-hander. They uh, follow each other through there. Is it going to be Roma? Can she hang on? She's got the advantage at the moment, and she's got uh, a couple of white links now. She's got the breathing room, and the 79 is going to win this one and square the championship. So there it is, Roma with checkered flag and a very important part of that championship unbelievable last lap there and that is now squared up our women's championship with only two races remaining that is something special to look out for tomorrow and uh, meanwhile while that goes on we've still got uh, taylor rampton she'll come home in third place if she can hang on for another half a lap there on the action motor kawasaki and that will be uh, her uh, streak of podium uh, uh, visits uh, extended out to six races in a row. Brianna Rogers, uh, like we talked about, uh, defending uh, New Zealand junior women's uh, champion. Uh, she is there in fourth place. Nell Patterson still there in fifth with Holly Russell in sixth place. Uh, Ella Burns there in seventh. Olivia Singer, head of the Brook Daly, and uh, Brianna Roberts uh, rounding out our top ten. So we've got our uh, uh, ladies, uh, the rest of the ladies still on their final lap here. And this is going to be some kind of podium to catch up with, uh, with uh, Amy and Roma. When it was all on the line, Roma Edwards has come out on top. That was something special. And now tied on points with two races to go. Oh, you couldn't have asked for a better script than that. And that's going to be something special. So uh, another uh, exciting prospect on the cards for tomorrow. And our uh, final round of our New Zealand Aon Fox and Pirelli Senior Motocross Championships. But uh, Roma Edwards, Amy Roberts and uh, Taylor Rampton still out there. She'll come home in a couple of corners time. And that'll be uh, one, two and three for that race. So Amy Roberts will win the overall with her two wins in a second today. But uh, Roma has importantly squared up that championship with two races to go. So let's cross down to Neil, who will have our uh, women's podium. And uh, that is uh, going to be something special to catch up with. Over to you, Neil. Well, still feel the ladies out on the track there at the moment. But man, oh man, are we in for this excitement. How good, how good. This is just absolutely dynamic and uh, something amazing to uh, see. In fact, uh, interestingly enough that... Uh, uh, we'll uh, get the result of this uh, moto is slightly different from what, what we'll get so uh, we'll change that round as these uh, ladies have just come in so if you get the idea the way that they were so far in front they just come up and lapped some of the uh, tail markers which meant that by the time that uh, uh, Taylor came uh, in in her uh, third place literally literally to be uh, close to a minute behind the time but she too in a dominant performance to uh, claim uh, uh, that uh, very uh, creditable uh, third place. She has done it six times in six races. There is uh, uh, nobody uh, shining uh, light uh, because it's just been such a battle from fourth onwards. It's all over the place. But first, second and third, pretty dominant to see. Let's have her up here in uh, third place. Uh, we congratulate uh, Taylor Rampton for an all-round uh, good ride. Uh, first of all, uh, Taylor, um, do you see which way those girls are going? Yeah, yeah, I see them uh, creep off in the distance, but yeah, they're riding so good, so congrats to them. Um, yeah, but I'm just surviving out there early. <laughs> it's a real tough track, but yeah, having fun. So. All right, uh, tonight, what are you, you going to do to uh, get ready for tomorrow for the finale? <laughs> have a good sleep. Yeah, good sleep, yeah. I recover, and yeah, ready to have some fun tonight. Right, uh, if, you were to, if, if you were to say the organisers, if we're going to make a change, what would you like to see out of the circuit? What would you like to see different tomorrow? <laughs> no, nothing I can think of off the top of my head. It's been yeah, a great day. They've done an excellent job. Well done. Lovely words. Thank you very much. All right, let's get her up here in uh, second place today, Roma Edwards. We'll do the race order, so my apologies. So, but thank you. We are, so, we'll do the uh, race order. So, uh, the race order second to uh, Amy. So, uh, thank you. We'll do that in first place. That's better. Thank you for the correction. Appreciate that. Uh, wow, what a moto out there. Uh, the matching helmet and the gear. How's the Fox wardrobe today? Uh, that's pretty dynamic. Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. I've been getting lots of comments on my gear today. So, 
got a few more on the bag for tomorrow, so I'll bring them out and hopefully get some more coming from them. <laughs> hey, whether, whether it's sort of a negative or a positive, but you, you ended up with a second place, but what a moto. You know, the you ladies just chopping and changing. You're never further than five metres apart. How good? Yeah, no, it definitely makes it interesting to watch. It's also hard out there. You can find yourself holding your breath when they're right there and you try to get a pass, but no, it's good, good fun. Well Thank you indeed, Amy, for the second place. Uh, and the moto uh, winner, Roma Edwards. Oh, you had to win that one, Roma, and you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, I did know that. Amy's riding so well. I just, luckily enough, got the start. Didn't stall it this time, and just, yeah, we were just playing cat and mouse the whole time. But it was fun racing. I really enjoyed it. Well done, indeed. Take, take the glory there at the moment. Well done for the uh, placing of the uh, race, and that'll uh, be the update there now. So there they are, first, second, and third. All right, uh, stay around, girls. We'll do our uh, podium, uh, third, third place for today for uh, Taylor. So, uh, well done. Yeah, that's it, ladies. Well done. Second uh, for the overall for uh, Brun. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and well done. Thank you, Lindsay. There, there. Come on, let's hear it for our ladies today. Well done, ladies. An awesome podium today. Congratulations. So, uh, I'm loving all the work that you're doing out there, and we've locked it all up. So, all the best tonight. May the best sleep win, all right? So, there you go. Ladies, uh, taking it away. So, oh, what a day we're in for. What a day tomorrow. Uh, for the sake of the sport, uh, you know, Amy would have wanted to win that. If she had, it would have given her a six-point advantage. That would have been a big one going in tomorrow. But I tell you what, uh, for what has happened in that race, for the sake of the sport, these ladies have made it like no other. Unbelievable what we've got. And the potential for a tie tomorrow, I think, is high as well. So, uh, oh, it is all on for one and all. We love it. It's women's motocross. It's out and it's having a buzz. And uh, the MX2 have just had uh, their warm-up and they'll be uh, slotting back into the gate and ready to go. Remembering from here on, of course, we're rocking through all of our races still to go we have uh, mx2 and one of the bikes being pushed here to the uh, line of course we'll have mx3 and mx1 we're counting them down at the moment uh, it is uh, uh, penny Holmes time at uh, 24 minutes to uh, four and uh, a good afternoon to uh, wrap it out uh, great weather here in taupo thank you very much uh, early indications for the forecast is potentially some rain tomorrow morning but uh, i tell you what that won't that will be a plus for the track so just be ready for the rain cut but it's uh, due to clear as the day goes on and it's only showers at that rather than rain so it will be a light day and i'm sure we'll get the best of it bring it on with a great day to uh, wrap up our new zealand motocross champions at home with aon insurance remembering ask them by name i've changed to aon hope you do as well go and check them out folks local brokers and local towns with 70 offices around the country giving you insurance that fits your needs as well remembering they're a brokerage as well so they get you the right insurance they're not just one brand they actually move into other brands to get the right insurance check them out aon proud to be supporting our sport along with kids rowing and other things we love them you'll love them as well aon to you Brad.